three points which I want to emphasize upon is uh, number one uh, that if we see any uh, major country or major economy across the world, the broadband delivery models as of today are three. The uh, cellular connectivity, which we have uh, across the country uh, with uh, most of the coverage uh, using LTE. The second is the fixed line broadband uh, to the individuals. And the third is the Wi-Fi at public places uh, for again masses. Uh, unfortunately, in India, when we uh, did the research, we found that uh, the, uh, the main challenge uh, because of the over lines on the cellular connectivity is that neither we get to a very good performance on the cellular nor we have the alternate means to connect so keeping all those things in mind uh, the government decided to uh, focus on proliferation of the public wi-fi hotspots and that is why we can see that uh, in uh, national digital communication policy we have kept a target of 10 million wi-fi hotspots that roughly translates to a one hottest kind of visibility we want to see. The second thing is uh, when we uh, uh, see the uh, ambitions or the objectives of the government, we have planned one crore for public Wi-Fi hotspots across the country uh, uh, to supplement the cellular connectivity efforts. Now, when we want to have one crore public Wi-Fi hotspots, and had we been continued with the earlier method that in each hotspot, everybody is required to receive the OTP and then log in again and then use for some time. And if you move a little bit here, there again, log in. No, that experience uh, necessitates uh, or uh, that experience is so difficult that uh, it takes away the users from using the public Wi-Fi hotspots. So in essence, the public Wi-Fi hotspots, uh, sorry, PM money facilitates the use of the public Wi-Fi hotspots seamlessly. Now, the second aspect is uh, since uh, this is a concept developed and designed in India, government wanted to promote it. So we have kept uh, a zero entry fee, zero processing charges, zero license fee, no paperwork, uh, you can simply register online on the DOT portal, uh, start working. The third thing is uh, it provides opportunities for a various kind of entities. Uh, if you want to be, uh, if you are a retailer, then you can establish the PDO, that is the public data office, just like uh, the yester years uh, PCOs. If you are a tech guy, you can be an app provider or the PDO A. Uh, if uh, you are into the business of trading, you can uh, start looking at uh, an opportunity where you can increase your sales of the Wi-Fi access points. So it basically creates a complete ecosystem. It is not something uh, focused on one particular segment or, or one particular segment of the business entities. Everybody can have uh, its role. And uh, simultaneously, you are not required to be uh, responsible for uh, all kind of uh, uh, like uh, obligations which come uh, with the telecom licenses, like uh, 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 annual license fee, accounts maintenance, or uh, uh, interceptions, and all those kind of uh, security aspects and all. A very minimal security framework has been kept.